Hello. Hi. I'm Caleb. Hello, Caleb. Do you have a name? Yes. Ava. I'm pleased to meet you. Ex Machina is often mentioned in conversations about artificial intelligence. The setup is around a test, not actually for the AI, as so commonly in the so called Turing test. What was the real test? You. And the test is to see if, given the knowledge that she is a robot, will this other character deduce that she still has personhood? He can see her insides, he knows how she's been developed, what kind of data she's been trained on, but still he develops this emotional attachment to her. He, in effect, fails a sort of reverse Turing test, that he knows she's a robot, but still sees her as something more than that. But what's very interesting about this film is how gendered AI can be in our narratives and stories. Are you attracted to me? What? Are you attracted to me? But me this is a sort of trope we see repeated again and again in artificial intelligence stories and perhaps not a very useful one. An AI doesn't need a gender. She could have been a gray box. Hmm. Actually, I don't think that's true. Can you give an example of consciousness at any level, human or animal, that exists without a sexual dimension? But Ex Machina is still cited as a deep philosophical conversation about AI and what it's possible to do with it.